Welcome back to the Stoneburner Books YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about handmade valentines. Um, I have come up with this idea that is pretty easy to do and I want to show you how you can make a fun handmade book for valentines and with just a few materials and not a whole lot of time. Okay, for this tutorial, you're only going to need a few materials. You will need some cardstock paper. I chose red, but you could choose whatever Valentine's Day color or non-Valentine's Day color that you want. Uh, you will also need some lightweight text paper. I'm just using paper that I normally put in my copy or my printer. Um, doesn't have to be anything fancy. Now, if you want to take it there, you can make it very fancy, but um, simple, basic paper will do. You're also going to need some rubber bands. These, I believe, are number 33. Uh, who knew that rubber bands had different numbering, but those are 33 size. <laughs> you will also need a some short pencils. These are golf pencils, and I am linking all the materials down below. Um, when I originally made this uh, type of binding a while ago, we used regular pencils and cut them to size. Friends, save yourself some time and just buy the golf pencils it's so much easier. And these in particular are the perfect size for the materials that we're using. You will also need something to cut your paper with. If you have a paper chopper or trimmer, that's great. I am going to be using a utility knife and a metal ruler. The probably hardest to find or thing that you might not have in your house that you'll need is a double hole punch. So this one, it just punches two holes into your um, papers at the same time. This one I have been handed down from my grandfather, so um, I obviously can't link to this one, but I will be linking to one uh, down below so that if you want to save yourself some time and energy, you can get a double hole punch. You could also just use a single hole puncher and just punch them, you know one at a time. So let's get started on our tutorial. The very first thing you're going to want to do is cut your cardstock and your regular white paper into quarters. So I'm starting with my cardstock at a landscape orientation. And because I'm using standard eight and a half by 11, I know that I want to cut along the five and a half inch high line. Then I will take these two pieces turn them so that they're landscape again and I will cut along the four and a quarter and that will give me four pieces from the one piece of cover stock. Again if you have a paper chopper this is going to make your your process a little bit faster. So now I have covers just from one piece of paper I have um, enough for two covers of books and or covers for two books. Now, I am using just two sheets of the plain white paper per book. Um, if we think about it, if you have kids, you know that Valentines often end up in the trash, hopefully recycling bin if possible, um, but there's just a lot of packaging and plastic and things like that associated with Valentine. So my goal for this was to create something that could be useful past Valentine's Day. Um, and if it ends up in the trash, at least it could be recycled. It has minimal materials. Um, that's, that's my goal. So what I am doing here is exactly what I did with my cardstock. I am just trimming it down into quarters. So now I have eight pages here. I didn't want to make it too thick because I didn't want to waste materials in case kids just got rid of it after the day, uh, but I wanted it to feel like a substantial little book there that they could write a couple of things in. So I just sandwiched my pages between my cardstock and now I'm going to punch my holes. I will tell you, if you are going to have your child decorate the covers, go ahead and have them decorate the covers. Oof. Um, before you bind it up um, because if that that way if they make a mistake you can just swap out the cover and no harm done so the binding part is the only part that's kind of tricky about this so and it's not hard it's just kind of fiddly um, so what you want to do is take your rubber band and pinch it so there's a little 
kind of circle tip there that you will put through from the back. And with just a little bit of a loop through, then you stick your eraser through. Now you can do point up. I like point down, but everybody has different design aesthetics that they can go with. And then you want to take kind of like pull tension on that and then take it and pinch it again and put it through the bottom hole. Once you've got it through, you can stretch it and then put the tip of the pencil in. So it's very simple. I kind of pull on the back there just to make sure that it kind of spaces itself out. You've got your book all bound. Okay. You may have some edges of pages sticking out here like I did at the top and on the side. And you can again just trim those down once your, page, your book is all complete. Um, now, you have a blank book here. If you have, depending on the age of your child and the creativity of your child, um, artistic ability, all of that, no judgment. You know, I'm going to show you some of mine later and you'll see. I, I don't, I'm a book binder for a reason. There's a reason I'm not a painter or <laughs> an artist of pen. Um, so I found some great stickers. I'm Again, I'll link everything below. So if you have a really young child, they can just stick the stickers onto the cover. Maybe you write the child um, who is going to be the recipient, write their name on the cover. These I thought were super cute as well. And um, also just some fun heart designs here too. So you can easily just put them on the front covers. That's what I showed you at the beginning with just the sports ones. I just chose some of the sports that are popular in our house. Um, but you could also do something like this. Very simple, uh, just kind of making the hearts as flowers and drawing a little decoration on it. Or, see, this is where I say, this is my limited artistic ability. You know, kind of taking the fox face heart shape sticker and then adding a little body to it and writing happy valentine's day so you can really do a whole lot of different things um i also had my son do a little drawing of a heart face on there um but again you can see i had him draw it first so that i'm not binding something and then if he messes up we have to take it all apart not that it takes a long time but just it's a lot faster to swap it out before you bind it so um, these are all the different options. Again, all the supplies are listed down below. Um, and the great thing is that you can get a lot of books out of just a few pieces of paper. So um, I would love to see it. If you try this, let me know in the comments below. And I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Bye.